A few days ago, I was on Bassmaster.com looking through a photo gallery of the top 10 anglers in a certain tournament and what lures they used in that tournament. And I noticed something very interesting. Several anglers in the top 10 were throwing jigs to catch their bass, but I noticed they weren't throwing it with a standard cross style trailer. They were using a worm. Some anglers used a cut-off piece of a Senko and others an actual Ned Rig bait, but the pattern was clear. These anglers all had fantastic tournaments by throwing something a little bit different at the fish, and it yielded great results, obviously. But what makes the straight tail trailer on the jig so special, or should I say so ordinary, and does it really help you catch more fish, or is it simply a funny trend that happened to catch on and the anglers all did the same thing? My name's Tyler, and let's talk about it. Another giant, another giant. Look at that, y'all. I can't believe what I just caught. Yes! This video is brought to you by Outcast Tackle. More on them to come later in the video. The tournament I mentioned in the intro was from the St. Lawrence River in upstate New York, and especially in the northern region of the country, Minnesota, Michigan, New York, areas of Ohio, Pennsylvania, the spot is much more crucial to find than the actual lure itself. I'm not saying fisheries can't get pressure. There's tons of bodies of water that get lots and lots of fishing pressure, but for the most part, if the fish is in the area, it's going to bite, and the St. Lawrence River is definitely that way because I've been there. And the reason why I bring that up is because for the most part, St. Lawrence River smallmouth are not very smart. You get a drop shot, a Ned rig, a jig in their face, they're probably going to eat it. And so I was a little bit skeptical about the straight tail worm on the jig and if it really is a game changer. And even just two years ago, know-it-all Tyler's Real Fishing would have scoffed at their dumb trailer choice saying something like, just throw a rage craw, you dummy. But now I'm 26 years old, relatively seasoned in life, you could say. I've been around enough pro anglers to know that these these anglers are the best because they oftentimes try something off the wall that shows the fish a different look. And trust me, that one to three extra bites a day you can get can radically increase both your fun fishing success and your tournament success. Now you're probably sitting there wondering, Tyler, what's the purpose of this video? Why are you making it? Well, I want to show you guys a comparison between a jig with a craw trailer and a jig with a straight tail worm trailer. This here is the Strike King Ned Ocho. And I'm going to try my best to fish both of them. I'm going to show what they look like underwater and on live scope to see see how fast they both fall in the water column. But the question still remains, does a straight tail trailer actually catch more fish than a traditional craw style trailer? And that's what I'm gonna try to figure out in the rest of this video. So we're gonna take two Outcast Tackle Stealth Fighter jigs in the exact same color, the exact same weight, the exact same skirt style, and we're gonna put a traditional craw trailer on the back of one of them. And we're gonna put the Strike King Ned Ocho on the back of the other. Will I be able to tell a difference? And more importantly, will the bass actually be able to tell a difference? Let's see. But first, I have to thank Outcast Tackle for being a faithful sponsor of me and this channel for over five years now. I will stand by the fact that I think Outcast Tackle makes some of the best jigs out there. I catch fish on them all year round in grass, in wood, in rocks, underneath docks. They make a quality product that I am proud to use in all my videos. And you guys have asked before if I'm ever going to make a custom jig from Outcast. All I can say is stay tuned. Outcast Tackle makes some awesome high quality stuff from finesse jigs to grass jigs, skipping jigs, uh, all purpose archie head jigs called the juice jig. And of course they are known for their perfect Ned head and the golden eye swim bait head. All this stuff being high quality premium products that I I use and promote here on the channel. And if I trust them to catch bass, you should too. As always, I have my tackle linked in the video description. They are Tackle Warehouse affiliate links. When you click those links, it helps out my channel a ton. So before you purchase either Outcast Tackle Jigs or any other fishing rods, reels, line, or bait, make sure y'all click those links down in the video description. That would help out a ton. Now, let's see these two types of jig trailers underwater. Now, the first thing I want to do is take both these jigs with the different trailers, the craw and the straight, cast them in the water and see how they look underwater. And then I'm going to show you guys on live scope if the fall rate is any different between these two types of trailers with the same jig. Now, we are going in with the craw style trailer. Do my best to hop it across the frame here. You can tell those claws are sticking up. We got a bluegill coming to look at it. Next, I'm going to swim it. See what that looks like. Kind of quick hops. And I don't even know if I would say that it has a whole bunch of action. Looks good to me though. And now let's pick up the straight tail trailer. And I'm not sure if it falls any faster, but it definitely looks a whole lot different. Scared that fish away actually. Let's go ahead and swim it. There's definitely less resistance in the water. I can, I can feel that for sure. Yep, just like I had uh, thought, not much action. 
And you know what? I have no clue which one's gonna catch more fish, but that's what these tests are for. So now that we have seen what I expected to see as far as the actions underwater go, let's see how quickly they fall in the column. What you see on your screen right here is my live scope. It shoots a sonar transmission out in front of us all the way to beneath us, showing everything in the water column. And you'll see fish out there 55 feet on the x-axis. If I turn left, you'll see things to the left. And if I turn right, you'll see what's to the right. This is the finesse football jig with the craw trailer. I'm gonna cast it 40 feet out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, where'd it go? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 24 feet in 12 seconds, that is a foot every... Uh, that, uh... Uh, 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 20, I'm bad at math. What is that? 24 a foot every two seconds? No, two feet a second. Yeah, math. Can I catch one? That's the question. No, I can't. So two feet a second. Let's see the other one. This is the jig that has the Ned Rig trailer. Again, going to cast 40 feet out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. Well, it was a little bit deeper there, but 13 seconds, pretty much negligible. So as far as like the finesse aspect, you know, a finesse jig falls slower than a normal jig, I don't really think there's any difference in fall rate that's going to lead to more or less bites. Now, just like with all of these versus challenge videos, I've got to actually catch a few fish because it's not like I doubt that the Cinco type lure on the back of a jig works. I just kind of want to see for myself. So I've got my buddy Jace with me. He's going to have the same football jig, the one y'all saw with the craw. I've got the one with the Ned Ocho. Let's catch some fish. Or try to. Try <laughs> Early, but if he's bass, he'll come see it. I'm way short. Oh, he's got one. Not very big. Oh, well, you know what it counts, though. <laughs> okay, one for the craw. As he says, baby, they want the craw. No, sir. Old-fashioned chunkaroo. Gosh. Holy cow, you are fighting so hard. He wanted the old, the old oat show. Great. Now the score is one to one. Cool. Hey, you know, the nice thing about this is you don't got to check, did he steal my claws? That's right. <laughs> we don't got no claws. Oh, I don't know if it's yours or mine. Ooh. Good one, too. How big are we talking? Three pounder, maybe? Three pounder. Three pounder. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. Tell us about it, Jace. Good one. Get him in here. Go. Are we gonna boat flip him or no? Okay. I don't think we're gonna boat flip that one. That one's a little too big. That one's a little too big. Oh. <laughs> that's what we came here for. Holy moly. I think that's that's two for me on the craw. That's more like it, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. That's right. God, I gotta touch I gotta touch that one. Mmm. Dang. That's a 460. I downplayed it a little bit, but we'll take it. Beautiful. Sweet. On the craw. That right there, folks, is what we like. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Eat it. Yep. Oof. Thanks for the help. Pat. You're welcome. We saw that one on scope. See, he looked bigger he did. on the yeah. screen yep. than he was there. This one count? The craw? Yeah, it counts. Three to one. Mm-hmm. Ooh, uh-oh. Dang it. We're doing an all count challenge or what? We're doing an all count challenge. Well, you're beating me on count and size. So <laughs> maybe they want the craw, man. Hey, we're just catching fish in the name of science. That's right. <laughs> I think they do want the craw though. Yeah. Unless you've just gotten lucky, but I think they like the flappy flap. Uh -oh. Ooh, uh -oh. hello. Yeah, well, I don't know. He's just, he's d d dogging me. Yeah, I think that's a big one. Jeez. Talk about Chunkosaurus Rex. Here in Texas, we boat flip them, baby. Yes, sir. You can bring a Texas boy to Minnesota, but you can't take the Texas out of them. Beautiful three pounder right there. 
Four to two. <laughs> from us to those pads, uh -huh. I just caught it. We caught like 30 fish out of that swamp. There's one baby. Oh, oh, now he doesn't count. I was going to say. Slap. All right. Nope. Come on now. Come on now. Get in here. Oh no. Not again. Oh, man. This is really messing up my vibe. Thank you. But look at that. Didn't mess up my claws. Where'd this wind come from? Come on, come back for it, please. There he is. Oh! Pike? We got some slimy critters around here. Well, we've got no more football jakes. I left them all in the truck which I know might slightly invalidate our comparison. But you know what? We're just having fun out here. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, sir. It feels like a pike. Oh, it's a bass. Hey, four to three. What a chunky monkey. Thank you, friend, for eating the old Ocho. The Jig Ocho, it's the Jocho. It's a good name. Yeah. Copyright, trademark, it's mine. Back to the guaranteed. Oh, yep. Got him. Get him in here. Don't care how big they are. He counts. Yes, sir. Five to four? I think so. Five to four. We're coming back. Don't say it's not a comeback, baby. Or, or it's a, a tree. Any trees in the water? Mm, could, I mean, it could be. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Hello. Hello. This is the fish that ties it up, baby. This is the fish that ties it up. Let my lead get away from me. Uh-huh. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Another almost three-pounder on the straight tail jig. Absolutely choked it, my goodness. If you haven't gotten yourself some outcast jigs, you're missing out because they, they catch them. Untie all the cables and rope. Next fish wins, comment below who it's gonna be. What team are you on? Who are you rooting for? Go Buffs. <laughs> no. Oh no, eat it. Eat it again. Oh, oh no. Yes sir, yes sir. Come on, come on, be a bass. It's a bass! Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yes! <laughs> that right there, folks, is the winning fish, just for time's sake, on the old Ned Ocho on the jig. Now, after this whole challenge, the question is, is this actually any better? And the answer, I don't think so. I know a lot of anglers out there, you know, Aaron Martins came to mind that really love to tinker with tackle and make things super specific. And I really think the only thing that accomplishes in bass fishing is just giving the fish a different look. Practically, I don't think a craw trailer and a straight trailer are really that different in the water. You know, I know the marketing phrase is where the, the appendages on the creature bait, the claws, they give it a whole bunch of action in the water. I think that's true, but do the fish really care? Can they tell a difference between like a speed craw and a rage craw? I don't really think so. And so in conclusion, am I gonna keep throwing the straight tail jig trailer? I think so, cause it's kind of cool. And I think it accomplishes exactly what it was intended to, which is gives the fish something a little bit different than maybe they've seen all the time. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you guys along the journey with me. Now, if you wanna learn all about the types of jig trailers, of course, I don't talk about this one in that video, but when it comes to spinner baits, vibrating jigs, and all four main types of jigs, I made a masterclass video on jig trailers. I will leave that up here in the corner. My name's Tyler, it's always a pleasure, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of TRF. <laughs> we don't got no claws.